Hey kiddos, welcome to this week's homework where we are looking at customary weight. Just as a reminder before we dive into these questions that in class we were using two examples. An example of a gram would be a paperclip and an example of a kilogram would be a pineapple. So when we are trying to decide which would be the better weight, think of it as paperclips or pineapples. Does it make the most sense that our goat would be 55 paper clips or 55 pineapples in weight? 55 paper clips would be way too small. We have a mouse. Would mouse be 18 paper clips or 18 pineapples? We're going to go with 18 grams or 18 paper clips. A cupcake, 110 paper clips or 110 pineapples? It's going to be grams. Flour is the same as two kilograms or two pineapples. A spoon would be the same as 25 grams or 25 paper clips. And a phone would be the same as 250 grams or 250 paper clips. Any questions about these? Bring them with you to class. All right, so faces on to our next page where again we are talking about a reasonable or estimated weight. Just as a reminder, grams, we use the mental image of a paper clip. And for kilograms, we're thinking about pineapples. So would it make sense for an apple to be the weight of two paper clips, 20 or 200? 20 grams is the most reasonable answer. For a book, would it be three pineapple, 30 or 300? Three pineapple would be the most reasonable answer. Thinking about paper clips, an acorn, six, 60, or 600, six would be the most reasonable. For a horse, 50 pineapple, 500 pineapple, or 5,000, we're going to say 500. A burger, 20 paper clips, 200 or 2,200 is the most reasonable. And a small little boy, 30. Pineapple, 300 or 3,030 would be the most reasonable. Any questions on these? Bring them with you to class. All right, Nuggets, we are practicing reading our scales. Remember to double check and see what is being measured. This scale is showing me grams. So when I read this, this scale is showing me 400 grams. We want to put our labels. Labels are important so everyone knows what we're talking about. This one, we are looking at kilograms. I notice that I have my big lines, which have the numbers, and then I have one line in between. And when there's one line in between, that tells me it's a half. So if I'm looking through, I have one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five. This would be five and a half. You could say 5.5 kilograms or five and a half kilograms. Or if you wrote five and a half, that would be fine as well. Down here, we're measuring in grams. This one was icky, sticky, tricky. It's counting up by twos. We have a dark line to show us the odd numbers, and then we also have an in-between. So if I'm looking, it's 100. One line pass would be half, so 150 grams, 150 grams. Over here, pretty easy peasy, right on the line. It tells us it's kilograms. This is one kilogram. Down here, we're measuring in grams. It's skip counting by twos. I see my long lines for my odds and my half lines for half. So this would be 500, the long line between 400 and 600, and half past. That would be 550 grams. Last one here, counting up by single digits with a half in between. This would be 2.5 kilograms, or you could say two and a half kilograms. Any questions on these kiddos? Bring them with you to class. All right, Nuggets, we love to build on our skills. So here we are not only reading, but we're also adding to it, similar to something we did last week. So I'd like you to add 200 to what we have here. 
I have 600, half past is 650. When I add them together, I have 850 grams. So my scale has 650, I add the 200. Over here, I'm at seven kilograms. I want to subtract five kilograms. I'm left with two kilograms. My scale says seven. I subtract five, I'm left with two. Here, I have 800, 950 grams. I need to subtract 300. When I subtract 300, I am left with 650 grams. So my scale has 950 grams, I subtract 300. Over here, I'm at 800 grams on my scale. I'm gonna subtract 450. Don't forget your borrowing. We have a zero, a five, and a three. We're left with 350 grams. We are at nine and a half kilograms. I need to subtract six. This one was a little sticky because we had the half. If I subtract, I get three and a half kilograms. You could also say it was nine and a half minus six leaves you three and a half. That one was a big stretch, love bugs. Over here, we're at two kilograms. I want to add seven. Seven plus two leaves me with nine kilograms. Any questions on these? Bring them with you to class. All right, Nuggets, our last page is looking at word problems. So it says that Deb has 150 grams of string. She uses 60 grams on Monday and 15 grams on Tuesday to make braided bracelets. How much string does she have left over by Wednesday? So as a reminder with word problems, what are they asking me to do? What numbers are they giving me to use? So I know in total she has 150 grams, but she used two amounts on two different days. So I need to first decide how much did she use between Monday and Tuesday? I'm gonna take my 60 grams and add it to my 50 grams so that I can see she used 75 grams on Monday and Tuesday. Now to decide how much is left, I'm gonna subtract that 75. This has a double borrow. 10 minus five is five. Four minus seven, I can't do that, but I can do 14 minus seven. 14 minus seven is seven. She had 75 grams left over. Mike has 850 grams of wood to use for a birdhouse. If he needs to cut the wood into five sections evenly, how much does each section weigh? This was a division problem. And I know that it looks big, but we've talked about the power of base 10. So I'm gonna take my 850 grams and divide it by five. But remember, that's the same as doing 85 divided by five and adding a zero to my answer. Five goes into eight one time because one times five is five subtract. Eight minus five is three, bring it on down. Five goes into 35 seven times because seven times five is 35, zero is left. So when I take my 17 and add a zero to the end, it tells me that there was 170 grams in each. If this was a big stretch for you, this is okay. This is getting closer to that fourth grade question, but we're really trying to stretch and grow towards our new grade. Nate must load some horses into a trailer for a ride this weekend. She has two horses that weigh about 2,200 kilograms each, and her tack weighs 10 kilograms for each horse. How much weight will be in the trailer? Now, notice that she has two horses, so each of these things we need to double. First, let's look at our horses. We have 2,200 plus 2,200. There's two of them. When I add this up, I get 4,400. Our tax, they're 10 kilograms, but we have two of them. 10 plus 10 is 20. 
Take our horses plus their tax, add them together. We have 4,420 kilograms in the horse trailer. Over here, we're talking about Daniel who works at the local diner making five kilograms of pancake mix daily. How much pancake mix does he make in one week? We have to think because this does not give us our exact number. We need to remember how many days are in one week. One week is seven days. So if he makes five kilograms every day for seven days, five times seven is 35. He makes 35 kilograms of mix in a week. Raquel needs 800 grams of flowers to make centerpieces for a wedding event. If she makes 10 centerpieces, how much did each one weigh? We can use division or we can use skip counting with this one. I can count by 10 until I get by to 800 or I can divide as well. We have our base 10, base 10 is our friend. So watch what I do. I can take my zero away from both and I can say one divides into 80, 80 times. When I add my zero back, I get 800 grams, okay? So of those 10 center pieces, how many does it get? We get 80. We get 80. All right, my loves, let me show you another way that we can do this, okay? Because we can do skip counting. And I think a lot of you probably did that. If you count by tens to get to 800, how many tens would you need? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, okay? So think to yourself, how many tens are in 100? There's 10. If I need 800, I can also do addition. 10 plus 10 plus 10. And if I do this eight times, I'm gonna end up with my answer. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80 grams is going to be the weight of each centerpiece. One more, excuse me, I was trying to fight that sneeze. One more. The Bryant family donates clothes every year to the local shelter. Each year it amounts to about seven kilograms. If they donate this much every year for eight years, how much will they have donated? They donate seven kilograms. For eight years, seven times eight is 56 kilograms. Any questions on these love bugs? As always, bring them with you to class. Have a great week.